So I knew this episode, um, no one was going to die, but I just decided to watch it anyways um, because of the main fight. Meliodas versus Bond. Um, it wasn't what I was expected because um, they hyped it up through words and it didn't deliver at all. Now, the episode starts off with a flashback with Bond and talking to the horn and the horn basically telling him that he wants him to, she wants him to kill Meliodas in order for them to bring back Elaine. And then we go into the future where the morning for, of the fight is here. And um, Ben heads over to the meeting spot, which is behind the mountain. And to his surprise, Meliodas is there waiting for him. I knew that was going to happen too. <laughs> but I didn't know that everyone else was going to be there because they all took it as a festival. They didn't take it as a fight to the death. And apparently Merlin was the um, kind of like the, the judge of the whole situation because she basically stated the rules that it has to be a fight to the death if they don't agree on anything. And first of all, they didn't live up to the rule of fight to the death. Um, I don't know if they're just playing on the title itself to hold the show. I don't know, but either way, I definitely do think that they can't keep playing us for long. Um, I didn't know that they had rules as well, but it do make sense. Um, the biggest thing about this episode is probably the uh, fight animation. Um, I love how the after effect of the hits were. Like, you didn't see the hits land, but you saw the results. And now, uh, by far, the funniest part of this episode was um, Gil Thunder's reaction to um, seeing everyone's powers and seeing uh, King versus um, Hauser. Definitely thought that was good too. Also, um, we get into the serious part of the fight where Bond stole everyone's weapon, everyone's energy, and uh, Meliodas uses his trump card, which is uh, there's no name for it now, but either way. So after Bond steals steals everyone's uh, energy, he basically takes like fifty percent of from everyone. And basically, after he he took that, uh, by far the funny funniest part was our heart. Uh, how much how much energy? Does he have? And overall, the episode was okay. Fight animation was probably the best, but it ended as I expected, a draw. Didn't expect one of them to die. I'm guessing it would have taken me from the whole seven deadly sins. And um episode ends off with um uh Meliodas telling Bond that he smashed the horn. <laughs> uh how could I forget the king? The king had a uh, nightmare slash vision. And I'm guessing that relates to the title of the show, Signs of Holy War. I'm guessing it has something to do with that because the king obviously sees something coming. And also, Merlin. Merlin in this episode was like beastly. She was like manipulating powers, everything. Like I'm wondering what else does the other sins have up their sleeve because um, we obviously didn't see them use their full powers yet or use it against one another, one another yet. But obviously we're going to, I hope we can see what they're really capable of and how they got their names and their powers. Definitely looking forward to that. And what else? And that's about it. Um, I really enjoyed this episode. The fighting part was the best, but I didn't think that they delivered on the end result where someone had to die. Like, I don't think that the show is like serious, 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 serious. Like that's serious. I don't think it's fighting to the death series. Um, <clears throat> but on that, it was okay episode.